Hi Molly, I'm quickly going to show you how to add users, uh, paid users to uh, your Agri, Agri food uh, website. So if someone signs up for your site, uh, they will fill out a form. Okay, so this is the register form. And um, this information will be sent to you. Um, his name, surname, and phone number, email address. Okay, so when this happens, you can then go through the process of um, telling them uh, or get in contract with them or um, whatever you guys need, what type of access they need. And uh, when they've signed up and paid you uh, their monthly or yearly subscription, you can go ahead and log into your website. And if you're logged in, you'll go to the dashboard. I'll quickly show you. Um, if you're logged in, you'll get this, this black bar in the top. Um, I'll also uh, direct you to a complete tutorial where we um, show you how to update this website and how to log in, all those kinds of stuff. I'll show you now where it is. Basically, if you go to our website, scroll way to the bottom, you'll see tutorial how to update your website. So it shows you here where to um, <coughs> how to log in and Henry will supply you with logging details if he has hasn't already done so okay so this is a complete tutorial on how to um, how to use the builder how to log in how to edit text um, how to add a blog post um, or an article and how to upload images make edit galleries and so on and so forth videos okay whatnot Okay, so someone signs up for your website, you want to add them to your um, uh, website as a member. So uh, if you log in, go to dashboard. Just wait for it to load. Okay, so if you log into dashboard, you'll get this page. And here on the left hand side, at the bottom, you'll see membership pro ultimate word. Uh, WP. So you can just click on this over there and it will load the software that manages the um, the membership side, locks the content and everything like that. So here on the left you'll see users. You click on that. And over here you'll see all the people that is already subscribed to your website um, or has access in uh, any way shape or form okay so basically um, WordPress always also have um, kind of um, access editor you know the normal stuff subscriber um, administrator okay so basically if you want to add someone um, here you have subscriber 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 and here is the test user so this is a complete user and you'll see it's open to public and, and business. We can change these names if you like, but it basically is uh, the differentiation between either um, someone that is signing up um, as, a, as a subscriber or as a company. Okay, a normal subscriber or a company. Okay, so basically, you can just, if you want to add, so you say you have a new person that signed up and you can say add new. And you can give him a username and that's probably just his name, his first name and surname, um, email address, enter all these with the red marks, uh, red stars, and um, enter a secure password. This can be randomly generated and um, here a WP role you have to set it to subscriber okay and then secondly you have to add the membership access okay so um, if it's um, public access or if it's a business um, it has different um, settings so you can just say public uh, or if you want to add it to both you can do so if you want to remove any of these for this. So this is a business and 
um, what's this? Okay, you could just hit register. Okay. So that's basically it. And um, you can also here is a link to manage users and users. Uh, manage users is basically this page. So if you want to edit anything or someone lost their password, um, the system does um, allow for uh, generating new passwords. You now people can just, if they don't know how to log in, I'm already logged in, so let me just log out here. Um, the option, you know, for lost password. Um, so it's already built in, but um, you can change any of those roles here. Okay. So also the public access in business um, has a start time or regular period, basically a year or per month, and we can also set those. Um, okay, so that's basically it. And just remember, just to review, um, if you add someone, it has to be a subscriber, listed as a subscriber. And it has to have either business or public access. Okay. Or it can have both as well. Okay, so add new. Add a username. This can be just a person's name. It's email, first name, last name. A secure password, please. No use of names. Um, and here it has to be set as subscriber. And level can be either business, public and hit register and then you can just supply them with those details that you um, that you enter here on the manage users page you'll also see that you can export it as a um, CSV so if I export it as a CSV um, always allow so I there it goes, downloads it and um, it will export it as a normal CSV so this data can be used for like there is a test Henry, Henry, anyway, okay, so, okay, I hope this helps, let me know if you need anything, I'd be happy to make you another tutorial, okay. Bye.